Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming to see this. Um, as the guy said, I'm Paul Dalton. I'm from MACE, Senior Project Manager. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, the built environment, what attracted me personally to the built environment, and hopefully what will attract you. Uh, a little bit about what MACE are all about, a lot about New Street Station, and also what we're doing to attract apprentices to the project. So firstly, the built environment. Hopefully, the fact that you're sat here now tells me you've got an interest in the built environment. What attracted me to the construction industry is the fact that buildings touch us every day. We use them every day, we use transport. It's basically the way we live. I personally didn't want to just work on spreadsheets or write reports. I wanted to build something and I wanted to put it on the map so it's there for years and years to come. So basically a legacy to everything we do. However, the construction industry has got challenges. It's not the most sexy of industry, shall I say. It hasn't got the best health and safety record and it is tough attracting the right people to the industry. However, I do think we are changing the way the industry is perceived. Skills, I think the skills you need to come into construction are varied. You need to be practical, you need to challenge problem solving, and you need to be able to work with people. To me, it's a wide range of skills that you can transfer to lots of other, other industries. About the company I work for, um, we're an international consultancy and construction company turning over just over a billion pounds. Uh, our vision is to be the leading international program manager and one of the biggest UK contractors. We want to provide quality service across the full cycle and basically employ the very best people. So they're just some of the places we were, London, New York, Johannesburg, Dubai and Hong Kong. And the sectors we work in, 12 key sectors, um, basically any sector where buildings are happening, MACE are working in. I've listed them there. But the real key to this presentation is Birmingham New Street Station. Um, I've been involved with the scheme for three years. Uh, we've got another two years of the project to go. Uh, it's basically a 600 million pound investment to completely redevelop New Street Station. And we're also going to build uh, a new John Lewis saw on top of the station and a new shopping centre. So massive, massive scheme by Network Rail and Birmingham City Council. That's the little aerial shot of Birmingham Centre. That big yellow splodge in the middle is basically the station building. So we just put this in to show what a, a challenge the project is for the city centre and everyone that works on it. How are we building the station? Well, we are interfacing with the public every day. We're always keeping trains running through the station, which is a challenge. We are trying to make it a very safe place to work. We're looking at how we engage with our contractors. Mesa, the main contractor, and we've got upwards of another 100 contractors working on the project. We look to maximize off-site manufacture and modular construction, so moving away from traditional forms of construction. Design is always progressing, and then the key one here, we have developed a construction academy whereby we're providing training opportunities for everybody that joins the project. A few facts about New Street. Nearly 200,000 people a day go through the station. 52 million people per year will use it when it's completed. A train arrives and leaves every 37 seconds. We deal with about 270 stakeholders a day. Um, 8,000 stainless steel panels on the facade. We've got 1,000 people per day building the station. And when we delivered phase one, we peaked at 1,800 people per day to deliver the project. It is an investment for the future and we are looking to provide young people with a career in construction. We pledged two and a half years ago to basically give opportunities to 100 apprentices through the course of the project. At the moment, 
we've given opportunities to 90, 90 young people. So we've still got 10 opportunities in the two years left on the scheme if we're going to hit our target. We look to employ local people um, and we make sure our, our supply chain are engaging in these uh, objectives. So this is our little skills pledge. Everyone that joins the project signs up to this and then apprentices come from all the, all the project, all the, the contractors. So the story so far, we've helped 122 unemployed Birmingham residents uh, find their way into work. 49 members of our team have uh, completed project management training. 86 jobs safeguard for Birmingham residents. 610 jobs have been created um, either as an apprenticeship, a graduate opportunity, or just a, for a local resident. Um, and I've mentioned 90 apprenticeships so far. And these are some of the guys that, that have um, secured apprenticeships on the job. Harvey, Luke, Damien, Jelani, who I've brought along today. Jelani, put your hand up. There he is. Now, Jelani will answer some questions after this if we've got time. But this is <coughs> just Jelani's story. He's been in the construction industry two and a half years. Almost a year and a half on the New Street project. Um, attracted to the industry because he's keen to understand how things work. He's currently studying a level three in construction and built environment, which is um, a BTEC. Uh, skills he's been developing, construction skills, people management, lots on his confidence, supervision skills, and time management. Longer term objectives, going on to HNC level four, but then looking at his academic options, degrees, and potentially taking us up on some of the international opportunities we've got in the, in the company. <coughs> we did this um, back in March. This was the National Apprenticeship Week. So we celebrated what we'd done so far on the project. Uh, we also, as part of that week, opened uh, an interior systems facility at a local training se center. So this is basically recognizing how the industry is changing, lots of fit out works, lots of refurbishment works, and this is really developing the skills required for that subsector of the industry. Some of the learning opportunities, um, we're looking to provide opportunity for young people, developing partnerships with educational facilities. We're looking at accrediting all our apprenticeships um, and basically establishing um, management processes for learning on New Street Station. Some of the tips for success in today's market. Key to Macy's heart is making the industry much safer than it traditionally has been. We know if the industry is unsafe, people will not be attracted to it. So we work very heavily on our health and safety initiatives, basically making construction a safer place to work in. We invest time and money to do that. Um, we are quite innovative in some of our commercial trading arrangements. We're looking to develop a culture um, that often exceeds client expectations. And by doing that, we are able to secure some of the, the most, should I say, interesting projects in the country. And if we're working on big um, prestige projects, people will be attracted to join MACE. And that, that's our philosophy. Um, other ways to get into, into the company, I've mentioned the apprenticeship route. There is an academic route do a degree, come through our graduate program, but then there's also the experience-based route. It's academic, if you come in through a degree, we've got a two or three year graduate course, which is very structured. Apprenticeships, often three to four years, day release to college, um, basically lots of practical-based learning, but then there's the experience route. Often people come through contractors, um, and then often come up the management uh, tree a little bit later in, the, in, their, in their life. So just a few snaps of what we're doing at New Street. Um, I don't know if anyone's familiar with New Street Station, but we, we actually closed the old station in April this year, April 13. So this is just a picture of the station manager. He closed the station for the last time on that night, and we basically opened the new half of the station. Lots of people started using the new concourse, looking very confused when they first started coming around. Lots of new ticket facilities, lots of new entrances, 
lots of new retail and escalators, but then this is where we are now. So that's basically the operating half of the station. And then just the other side of that white wall there is what we're doing in the old, the old station building. So completely ripped out all the old finishes, basically got it back to concrete frame. We're now demolishing so we can then start rebuilding again. Um, that's the old Palisade shopping center, if anyone knows it. Basically demolishing all of that uh, old retail space. Up on the roof of the station, we're building a new atrium, um, which has been likened to the Wembley arches in terms of steelwork. Um, a massive engineering feat to build this roof above a live um, train station. Basically what we're doing, we're working off the existing roof, we build the new steelwork, put the new roof cladding on, so we've got waterproofing, and then we go underneath that roof and demolish the heart of the building. So another snap of the atrium roof going on, and then underneath, once the roof is on, we basically demolish all of the, the center of New Street Station, which is a massive challenge. John Lewis building going very well. This is the John Lewis scheme, new car park, but you can see that's right above the main line station, which makes construction very difficult. It's a new entrance to John Lewis. They're the new escalators within the John Lewis building. Um, lots of sustainable features on the project. Um, new green walls, photovoltaic cells. Uh, sustainability is top of the agenda. And then lastly, at platform level, completely gutting all the old platforms, opening up the space, making it more bright, more clean, uh, more friendly for people traveling through New Street. And they are just the people, or some of the people, who are working on the New Street project. I'm happy to take any questions from anyone on the floor. Anyone like any questions? You want to ask Paul or anything? Any questions at all? No, no. Stun silence. <laughs> also, at, at the end as well, you can ask Paul, come up, and if you want to ask him personally, you can do that as well, rather than if you're out in the spotlight, a little bit nervous as well, you can ask Paul at the end of his presentation. Thank you. How long was that? Okay. All right, good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, well, that's Mr. Paul Dalton there from the... Uh, Thank you. New Street Station there, new careers. Remember, if you do want to ask him a question, feel free to come up and he'd be happy to ask her any questions at all.